Hey, what's up guys? Rob here. Um, I usually don't make videos like this, but uh, I really wanted to say something about Sid Haig. Uh, of course, he just passed away, and I know he wasn't doing good. Um, I remember this year, one of his interviews, he just looked weak and frail, and like when he talked, it was just, you could just tell like he was just out of it and it's just a shame because that's a guy that's full of life and you know he has an on-screen presence that's just it just uh rises above everybody else i mean he's the reason why i got into house of a thousand corpses and, and why i love the movie so much him and bill mosley but sid haig as captain spaulding that's what got me into him He's been a lot of other films, uh, whether it's cameos or, or being in it. You know, he had a really cool cameo in Bone Tomahawk with Kurt Russell, the, the, the cannibal western. Him and David Arquette, like, they, they, uh, he had a really, really cool scene. And even then, he seemed like he was doing okay, but, you know, Devil's Rejects and just... He was a phenomenal actor, and I don't think he got... Um, the credit that he deserved you know because a lot of people don't care for House of Thousand Corpses and not necessarily mean that doesn't necessarily mean that they don't care for Sid Haig it just means that they probably just don't like the movie but that's one of my favorite horror films and Sid Haig was like the best thing one of the well I should say he was one of the best things about that movie but Captain Spaulding is just it's a unique character never been done really before so I just want to say rest in peace, Sid Haig. Um, you know, like I said, he just... It doesn't... It didn't seem like he was doing that good. Um, I haven't seen Three from Hell yet, but... Because it's not playing anywhere around here. So... The thing is, you know, I just... If he was suffering, um, it's over, you know. At least it's over with... Uh, he's in a better place, and, you know, he will live on through his movies. So, it sucks, you know. It's it's a punch in the gut. It really is. I actually wish I could have met him at like a because I know he did go to some conventions and stuff like that. Um, that's a guy I definitely wanted to meet. He just seems like he's down to earth, really cool guy, really nice, and, you know, uh, really, really a good guy to talk to, so... Anyway, I just wanted to make this quick video. Uh, yeah, that sucks. But I think I'm going to pop in House of Thousand Corpses um, in remembrance of him. So, all right, guys, uh, stay tuned for the next video.